Hi, my name is Noah Gift and I'm with Pragmatic AI Labs and I'm going to be talking about data science build systems. First, let's go to GitHub and let's create a repo and also add a gitignore file around the Python language. After we do that, we'll go ahead and create the repository and we'll go ahead and clone the file locally so we can add some important files like make files and things like that. Next, I'm going to go to an existing make file and cut and paste some previous commands that have been helpful. Setup, install, test, and lint are some of the commands that I've used previously. Now if we do make setup, you can see it created a virtual environment. Next, I go through and I create a requirements file that has some sane defaults like PyTest and Pandas. And from here, what I do is I do a make install. After the make install is finished, I'm ready to do some further actions that will make my repo reliable. What I do is I go to the test repo and I make sure that I can actually test a library that I will create myself right here on the fly. You can see it's called repo mod. Inside I'm going to create a function and that function I'm going to go and make sure I can import it locally. From here what I do is I import that function and it should return one. Exactly. Now if I do a make lint you can see that the Python code was syntactically correct Next, I'm going to cut and paste the output of the existing test library. I'm going to make a test function. From here, I know all I have to do is validate that when I import the module and run a unit test, it should return 1, so I do an assert result equals 1. Here we go. I was able to get 100% test coverage on my toy repo, and now I can add all those steps in one by doing make all. What this will do is it'll do a lint and a test and an install all at once. Now we're ready for our SAS build server. I'm going to use CircleCI. What I do is I first create a CircleCI build directory, and inside I cut and paste a config.yaml from an existing project that was helpful um, previously. You can see one of the important things here is to make sure that we have a run section where I do a make act activate and I do an install, and then I, I then use the rest of it to be, be, to be able to run make test and make lint. Now I go ahead and I add in all those files, including the CircleCI directory that I just created. And from here, that's all that's necessary to wake up CircleCI. The one final step is to go in and make sure that I set up a project that matches what I set up locally in GitHub. Here I go, I start building, and from here you can see it checks out and actually starts running my, conf my config file for CircleCI. Here it's at the install phase and it's going to go through and install all the packages necessary so that the linting and the testing can be run. Here we go. There's the lint. There's the test. Now we're ready to go. The last thing that would be helpful is to create a badge that shows the status of my build system. I cut and paste that into my readme. There we go. Now I go ahead and commit that and you can see that if I go back to GitHub, we have a passing GitHub. Thank you.